Hey, I'm Jerick120. I'm going to be teaching you a powerful out of this world tutorial routine that was performed by David Blaine on his recent Street Magic special, Real or Magic. I'll leave a link to his performance in the description. And I'm just going to teach you the tutorial. The first thing you want to do is start by separating the reds from the blacks, and they can be mixed together, they can be shuffled up. Just go through, separate them all, and put uh, the blacks on the bottom. Once you've separated the two colors and the blacks are on the bottom, reds are on top, you're going to go to where the red splits and you're going to crimp the cards and you're just going to put a bow in them. And what this does is it tells you, your mind, where those two packets separate. And to a layman, they won't uh, necessarily know where that is, but it's important for you. And for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to over-exaggerate the bow. Once that's done, you could do some false cuts or perhaps some false shuffles even, um, so long as the deck remains in the same order. And all the reds are on top, all the blacks are below. The way you want to start this effect, and again, watch the performance by David Blaine, I'm just kind of going through the mechanics of how it works. You're going to go through the cards and take out one black card and one red card. Red pile, black pile. And you're going to tell them that you're going to go one card at a time through the entire deck of cards saying, if you believe this card's a red card, put it in the red pile. If you believe it's a black card, put it in the black pile. And just go through the entire deck of cards, one at a time. And they'll start to go through, you give the cards to them, they'll go one at a time, Tell them not to think about it. And once they get past the crimp point, which you may be able to catch, be looking out for that. When they get back past that, which is exactly half the cards, now all of these cards are black. So once they get to that point, you can tell them, oh, if you want to put down multiple cards at once or shuffle it or cut the cards, mix them up a little bit, now they can go through put multiple cards down, or just one at a time, whatever the case may be, and it feels even more random, which is a nice little tip, nice little convincer. You have to start with the black pile, because both of these cards are black. So, you're going to say, all right, let's, uh, let's see how you did. Square up these cards, push them to the side, collect the entire black pile, and slowly, bringing the, the black, first black card out in front, go one at a time to reveal, and just do it slow. Be like, look, every single card that you put down in the black pile, and what you're doing is you're keeping an eye out for that crimp. So once you get down and you know how many cards you have left, you know you only have two black cards left, one black card left. The, la the rest of these are red because that's where the bow ends. That's why the crimp is so important. Use this red card to scoop up the entire pile and immediately come over, plant it on top of the black cards and spread through. You just added like, you know, 12 black cards to the pile, but because you're going so slow and then just this quick spread through move, it appears as though uh, all the blacks with the, with the blacks and all the reds were with the red pile. You know, I like to help my audience not just learn these magic tricks, but learn how to be an entertainer and go out and perform them to real people. Something that helped me was reading self-improvement books. And right now, my friends at Audible are offering my listeners a free audiobook of your choice and a free 30-day trial membership. Just go to audible.com slash disturbreality and choose from over 150,000 titles. Claim your free audiobook today to get a bestseller, fiction, nonfiction, or a self-help book, which I would recommend. Go to audible.com slash disturbreality to get started. Books like Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion, How to Win Friends and Influence People, and The Art of Speed Ring People are all books I would recommend for learning how to better your social skills and confidence. Go to audible.com slash disturbreality to get your free audiobook and 30-day trial today. The deck of cards that I used during this tutorial was the Empire deck by Lee McKenzie. And you can check uh, his projects out at kingsandcrooks.com. They have Facebook page and Twitter and Instagram. All that good stuff, and maybe Lee McKenzie one day may make 
a disturbed reality deck of cards. I'm Jarek120. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, at Jarek120, Facebook.com slash disturbed reality. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, it's a very simple trick, but it's powerful because it's one of those things that happens in the spectator's hands. Be inspired to learn. Aspire to disturb. I'll catch your ass at VidCon, June 26th to the 28th. Always rise above. You can riffle, keeping a break on top of that card, and when you go to square it up, you do the pass. You can also... I will give you my number if you pick a card. Man, I am hopeless at magic. But still, pick a card. I'll try.